फ्रेंड्स प्लीज नोट डाउन द पी डी एफ फाइल ऑफ ऑल दीज नॉट्स हैव इन अपलोडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर प्लीज डाउनलोड यूर नॉट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ आर्थ वोम डियर स्टूडेंट्स फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ आर्थ वोम फेरेटीमा पोस्थूमा एंड दिस सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल कवर फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ आर्थ वोम एंड दिस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए पेयर ऑफ ओवरीज Dear students, a pair of ovaries, and these female gonads are present in the coelom of segment number thirteenth. Each ovary consists of several finger-like projections, and in these projections, these mature ova are arranged linearly. Dear students. Each ovary having finger-like projections, and these projections are ovarian lobes. And in these lobes, these ova eggs are arranged linearly. It gives beaded appearance to these ovarian lobes. Second part of female reproductive system: a pair of ओवीड्यूकल फनल्स और ओवेरियन फनल्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ए पेयर ऑफ ओवरीज प्रेजेंट इन द सेगमेंट नंबर थर्टीन मिड वेंट्रली ए पेयर ऑफ ओवीड्यूकल फनल्स और ओवेरियन फनल्स ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द सेगमेंट नंबर थर्टीन दीज आर सिलियटेड saucer shaped structures which collect mature ova from the ovaries third part of this female reproductive system that consists of a pair of oviducts dear students egg ducts oviducts these egg canals are a pair of which starts from the oviducal funnel and extends almost in the mid ventral part of segment number 14th it means these oviducts which pass through this intersegmental septum between 13th and 14th segment which converges and meet almost in the middle part of this 14 segment and both ov ducts unite and open mid ventrally in the segment number 14th by a female genital aperture next part of female reproductive system very important structures these are these are four pairs of spermatheca dear students these spermatheca or seminal receptacles seminal receptacles as these spermatheca pouch like structures which receives spermatozoa from another womb at the time of copulation these spermatheca which are ventrolaterally four pairs one pair in each segment number 6th 7th 8th and 9th and these spermatheca which open between 5th 6th 6th 7th 7th 8th 8th 9th inter segmental septa of each segment 5th 6th 6th 7th 7th 8th 8th 9th and each spermatheca having this swollen part that is ampulla and this reduced part it is cecum or diverticula dear students in case of female reproductive system these four pairs or pouches 
which receive and st store spermatozoa from another womb at the time of copulation. So these are named seminal receptacles which receives and collect spermatozoa from another womb during mating and that mating takes place in rainy season. This structure present on 14th, 15th and 16th segments. It is clitellum and this clitellum its wall, epidermal wall that consists of three types of glandular cells which are unicellular and these cells are, are of three types first type mucus secreting glands the epidermis of this glandular band clitellum cingulum the first type types of glands which are mucus secreting glands and the mucus that involves in copulation mating of two worms. Second type of glands are cocoon secreting glands. It means in this epidermis the eggs are packed in a special structure that is cocoon. Dear students it is egg capsule and that egg capsule its wall outer covering that is produced by the cocoon secreting glands of this clitellum and third glandular cells which are present in the epidermis of this clitellum are albumin glands and these albumin glands produce a nutritive secretion albumin it means in this cocoon uthika mature eggs are stored as well as it contains spermatozoa and the albumin secreting gland cells secrete albumin which is also stored in this cocoon it means in this cocoon uthika mature ova sperms are present it means fertilization is external that takes place inside this cocoon and from this cocoon generally one baby comes out the development is direct no larval stays and the developing embryo that obtains nourishment from the albumin this is all about female reproductive system of earthworm. Dear students, in case of female reproductive system of ferritima, a pair of ovaries. Having each ovary consists of several finger-like projections. And these ovarian lobules in which eggs are arranged linearly. And these ovaries are present in the segment number 13th as well as in the coelom of this 13th segment a pair of ciliated funnel shaped structures which collect ova from ovaries these are oviducal funnels and the eggs are passed through the ducts these are oviducts a pair of oviducts these both oviducts which run through the segment number 13th and 14th and mid ventrally in segment number 14th both oviducts converse meet and open by a common aperture that is female genital aperture in this female reproductive system four pairs of pouches present in segment number 6, 7th, 8th, 9th, one pair in each, these are ventrolaterally. And dear students, these spermatheca open between 5th, 6th, 6th, 7th, 7th, 8th, 8th, 9th segments. In these uthika, sperms 
are stored and these pumps are received from the another earthworm at the time of copulation or mating is Parmethika having a swollen ampulla and greatly reduced cecum or diverticula and in this cocoon Uthika in which fertilization takes place and this cocoon having nutritive secretion that is albumin which provides nutrients to the developing embryo and in this cocoon mature ova as well as sperms are present fertilization occurs inside this cocoon Uthika and development is direct without involvement of larva generally from each Uthika one baby comes out Dear students, this is all about female reproductive system of earthworm. In next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss another animal of phylum arthropoda and the type study, the cockroach.